Hey guys, so I've been working on this series of videos on rhythm guitar playing, feeling the rhythm in your picking hand, playing funk rhythms and that kind of thing. And I wanted to do one for the Deadheads here, so I'm going to use one of the funkier Grateful Dead songs, The Music Never Stopped. There's a very cool lick that Jerry plays kind of in the first part of the verses of this song, and I thought it made a really good example of how you can apply alternate picking to a funk rhythm. So what I'm going to do here is take this rhythm and I'm going to slow it way down and uh, we're going to look at the mechanics of my pick direction as I play through this little lick. And then we'll gradually speed the tempo back up and get it to where it feels more like the song should actually feel. So I'm clocking the original tune at roughly 100 beats per minute. Of course there could be a lot of variation in how fast they played these tunes, but 100 seems to be a good place to start. So I'll play it a couple times up to tempo here so you can see what I'm doing. And so what I want to show you is a little method for how to kind of develop your feel on a syncopated lick like this. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to slow this thing way down, but I'm going to start feeling basically twice as many clicks of the metronome as I do it. So what I'm going to do is set the metronome at 120 beats per minute and and pay attention to how my pick moves in relation to the beat. You'll see my hand is always moving down on that click. So doing it real slow like that kind of allows you to break it down and really check the pick direction on each note that you play. So now I'm going to start working my tempo up. And in the entrance of brevity, I'm going to start moving it up pretty quickly. You might want to take smaller increments than me, but uh, I'm going to move from 120 beats per minute to now 140 beats per minute. <laughs> Once you're feeling pretty good at that tempo, then kick it up some more. Now I'm going to move to 160 beats per minute. Once I'm comfortable there, now I'll move it up to 180 beats per minute. And you'll see this starts to sound kind of absurdly fast, but I'll do it here anyway. So as you can see, 180 beats per minute starts to sound kind of frenzied. And so what I do when I hit roughly this point is I cut that beat in half. So I'm going to cut it down to 90. I'm going to be playing the lick the exact same way. I'm just feeling half as many clicks of the metronome but my up and down motion is still consistent. So here it is at 90 beats per minute, and I think you'll see that it starts to feel a little more like the song authentically feels when I do it at this kind of halftime thing. Now I'll take it up to 100 beats per minute, and I think you'll see this is getting pretty close to the actual feel of the song. So to recap this method here, when you want to get the feel down for a syncopated funky lick like this, slow it way down so you can break it down and analyze the direction of the pick stroke on every single note of it, and then you gradually work the tempo back up to the actual tempo of the song. There are several other videos on my website in this uh, rhythm guitar section uh, on some funk rhythms by James Brown and that kind of thing. Check those out too. Once you get the feel for this kind of thing, it should become much more automatic, and then you can start to apply it to your lead playing as well.